Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Stevie Aisha Mills, the Sheepreneur's best girlfriend, and I am so excited to present to you your business and the best man. And today is going to be an awesome day because we're going to go through some quick things that will tell you how your business and the best man correlate. So definitely want to make sure that you all know that this is going to be a turning point in your business because I always believe in having an example of what I'm speaking about, and I think the Best Man Holiday was such a phenomenal example of that. So what I want you to do actually is to take a pen and a piece of paper so that you can take some great notes and so that you can refer back to them. I also want you to go to www.stevieaishamills.com, and that's S-T-E-V-I-I-A-I-S-H-A-M-I-L-L-S.com, because what we're going to do is actually to have a drawing for a couple of things today, and one of the drawings are specifically for those who are who registered this morning with the e-blast I do. It's called Superpreneur status, and I don't do it often, but that's where you will find the information that you need to be part of this journey. So let's see. The first thing that I found in the movie is that forgive, forgiveness is a key of life. And so with that, we need to look at the fact that, that forgiveness is a key of life. If we look at the fact um, there's so much forgiveness. You know, people have to forgive themselves. People had to forgive others, um, and they had to forgive just sometimes even God because some people felt that God had taken some things away from them or led them down a path where they just didn't want to go. So people had to forgive. Another one was that faith was breached. If you look at the movie, and um, that was another line in the movie. I love it because it's so important to know. Because, for one, a lot of times our faith does get breached, and that correlates to the forgiveness factor as well. Breach, the definition of breach, and there are two different ways that breach is spelled. Breach, B-R-E-A-C-H, is to break or violate. and Lance said in the movie when he was talking about his daughter, Faith, that she came out as a breach, B-R-E-E-C-H, baby, but the Faith was breached if you look deeper and um, underneath, you would see that he was, that it could also go for your Faith being breached or broken or violated. A lot of times on the entrepreneur journey that we're on, it is so imperative to know that your Faith may get breached, but you cannot allow it to stay there. Your faith being breached is the fact that you may have a client who, you know, doesn't pay on time. Or you may have a client who promises that they're going to be the best and the baddest on your team or in your network, and they just don't. I mean, we all have been there where we can't do something that we thought we could. So think about that. Your faith is breached. Synergy of the cast. This is amazing to me because, as we know, it took many, many years to get the movie that we all love. And the synergy of the cast could have changed. You know, there might not have been the same cast. It was the fact that all of them, you know, stayed together and decided to come back as a cohesive unit. And the great thing about that is that your cast, as a entrepreneur, is your team, the team that you're building, your customers, your employees, all those things. They have to work in synergy because if something is off, it is all the way off. Imagine a movie without Lance or imagine the movie without Quentin. Um, it would not have been the same. So the synergy of your cast, your vice presidents, your boards, how your business structure is set up, your employees, everybody in your business, they are there for a reason. So you want to make sure that the synergy is always in line. And in order to do that, you have to make sure that you pick the right team players from the beginning. Think about when the director, Malcolm Lee, he sat and said, okay, I want Neil Long, and I want 
Roy Chestnut, I want Tay Dix. He had to go to those people and propose that they have a working relationship. And as we remember, a lot of the people had already been in movies together. We know that Nia Long and Morris Chestnut had already been the best man. I'm sorry, had already been Boys in the Hood, which is a great movie. I love that movie. I watch it still to this day. But the synergy of those characters, just like Sanaa Lathan and Tay Dix, had been in movies before as well. So definitely want to make sure that you're picking the right team players. That is key. One thing that I loved about this movie was marketing. Oh, my goodness. They marketed hard, and they marketed cohesively, consistently, and they did mixed marketing. They didn't just do one thing. A lot of us superpreneurs get stuck on that one thing. I do believe that it's important that you rock out your lane, that you stay in your lane, but you also have to step into some different territories. For me, when I market, a lot of you may have gotten – text for me, you may have seen it on Facebook, you may have seen it in my different groups on Facebook, you might say on Twitter, however you saw it, I might have told you in person, but I I took a chance on doing what I knew what to do this time, and so many times we know what to do, but we don't do it, and the lesson that I learned as a public relations, graduate of public relations degree, I love to watch how things are promoted. And if you remember in the movie, as you just listen to the movie and go back to how you heard about the movie, for one, they were on various interviews. It might not have been the whole cast, but part of the cast always did interviews. I've seen them on Arsenio, I've seen them on Today's Show, and Wendy Williams and all these different media outlets. And rarely was the whole cast there, like Arsenio did the girls one night and then the guys one night, but they were there. And it didn't matter who showed up because they were all speaking the same language about the movie. We also saw social media. If you are connected to the Best Man page, you see still that they're doing social media. And also, we are promoting. You know, as someone who believes in affiliate marketing and also network marketing, this is a key and prime example because I know I promoted the movie. I know you promoted the movie, but none of us got paid from that. So definitely want to make sure that we're always taking in consideration the fact that we should get paid for what we do. And that is a key example of how you should promote your business. I love to see people blog. I love to see people do social media. I love to see people do videos all kinds of things, all kinds of ways you can promote your business, even vending. Um, as you recall, Denise Mock was someone on the, the call about a week ago or so, and she told us that vendors, just phenomenal things about how vendors can promote while they're vending. So if you need the replay of that, let me know, because it was key about customer service. The whole thing that she talked about was how to improve your customer relations. So there are so many different avenues that you can market your business, and that is what business function is all about. That is the function of a great business that is key that you market because if no one knows that you sell the greatest Girl Scout cookies or if no one knows that you make the greatest clothes, then we can't buy that. And you're going to be always spinning your wheels because you're not telling anybody about your business. Now, let's take a pause for the calls real quick because I want to make sure that everyone knows to go to stevieaishamills.com. Again, stevieaishamills.com. And I want to make sure that you guys are signing up for the Superpreneur Status Newsletter because so many juicy things are in those newsletters. You're going to be kept abreast of what we're doing and how we can help you because there are going to be some changes and implementations to what I'm doing in the new year. And I want to make sure that you are connected because my goal is to always serve the superpreneurs. And I love to inspire, empower, educate, and motivate my superpreneurs. And that's why we're taking this time today to do this call because your business is important to me, and I want to make sure that you are doing the greatest work that you can do. Now, the next thing that I discovered in the movie was connectivity. 
connectivity was key. Those people actually liked each other. Those people loved the fact that they worked with each other. They had fun. They had so much fun. In the interviews, you could tell that they liked each other, and they were excited to be working with each other again. You always have to keep that morale up because um, the fact that your morale is the one that creates the picture for the whole team. You are the head of your business. You are the CEO. Even if you're not quite into the business realm right now, you want to be the CEO of your life or you want to be the CEO of your position at work, whatever it is, you are the one who is supposed to be doing that, creating that. So do the things that you need to do. Connect to the people you need to connect to. Make sure that you're always reaching out, that you're always learning, you're always growing, because it is your time. It is 2014 is going to be a remarkable year for just the things that you need to do. So make sure that you are connected to the source. Memorable moments. This movie has so many of them. But I know one that I spoke to some people about recently and one that I loved as well, and that is memorable moments when they did the new edition song. How many of you guys actually love that part? Because we all can relate to that. And the fact about new editions, think about when you were a teenager. Most of us grew up with new editions. So the fact that they did that, they knew what they were doing. They could have picked any song. They could have picked any dance. But they wanted to etch your memory in your mind. They wanted to take you back. And one thing that you can do is if you have a brick-and-mortar store, it actually works well to do this. Um, think about a smell or, like, a sound or something that you can relate to as far as, like, Girl Scout cookies and things like that. People love, love, love that whole thing. So if you think about going into a store where they have the favorite scent of yours or something that you can relate to, I love vanilla. So if I go into a store that has vanilla, I'm going to be super excited. Or if I hear a song that is nostalgic to me, then I'm going to be excited about that. So think about what you can do to create memorable moments in your business. Even if you don't have a brick and mortar, you can create memorable moments. Because the thing about it is if you go to your favorite site over and over again, you've etched a memorable moment in that. If you go to stevieaishamills.com, you're going to hear my theme song. You're going to hear something that you can relate to. Hopefully you can dance to because many of you know that I love to dance. So if you go there, you're going to turn up your speakers and you're going to go there. Some people just go there for the song and then um, get excited and then see what else they can find on the site. Speaking of excitement, wow, this movie has created a buzz that we are all waiting, willing, and anxious to get the DVD. We're willing, waiting, and anxious to see the next move. Will there be a Best Man 3? Will Clinton get married to Shelby? Will this happen? Will that happen? But we are all waiting to see what happens. And you want to always leave your listeners wanting more. They, You want to make sure that the people who are connected to you are actually the ones who are growing with you, not just a one-time thing, but they're growing. They're going on a journey. They can see themselves in the picture that you're painting. And that was some great advice that I received from a very successful woman. She was she told me, Stevie, make sure that people can see themselves. Now, it's not about you. It's about how people see themselves in the picture that you're painting. I want to take a break. Uh, for a second, see if anyone has any questions so far or need me to go over anything else. And if you can, please um, mute out your your phones because I do hear a little bit of noise in the background, um, and that would be great. So if no one has any questions, what I want to do is switch gears for a quick second I want to make sure that you guys are connected, again, to the Sheepreneur status email that I go, that goes out and also to the Facebook page that goes out because you'll be seeing in the new, the new year that we're going to 
do some things just exclusively for the people who are connected. And I want to make sure that this month we are making the um, the framework so that you all can stay connected and be connected. And if you have your pad and pencil, I want to give you some dates because this month I've named Daring December. And the fact that I've named it that is because I dare you to be successful. I dare you to stand where you need to be in this life. I dare you to take the limits off and do the things you need to do. So the first event that we have coming up for you is actually a live event. No, actually, it's not. Um, the next day is a live event. We have probably about five events just for you. On Friday, December 13th, I'm going to do another teleseminar, and it's called The Positive Power of 13. And so many times we talk about how unlucky 13 is, but we're going to show you that it's going to be a blessed, anointed number. For many people, this year has been blessed and anointed. So we're going to end 13 on a positive, powerful note. And if you go to my Facebook page, any of my Facebook pages, you'll see a link for it, and you will see that you can register. There is an investment of $7.13. We wanted to make it cost-effective for everyone across the board, so that is going to be a great investment. You're going to get so much from it because Tomoji, who some of you may know, but some of you may not, she is an empowerment specialist, and she is going to be partnering with me on this call simply because she believes in the power of women and what women can do. So definitely want to talk to you more about that, and you'll see more about that in the coming days. But you want to get registered because we have a limited amount of lines because we want to work with people who are seriously considering about and knowledgeable about changing their life in 2014. So we're building the foundation of what you need to do right now. The next day, December 14th, 2013 at 1 p.m. I'm going to do a Chic Sheepreneur panel, and it's going to be featuring some wonderful women who have just transformed their minds and transformed their lives by just sticking and staying with their mission. These women have gone through some things that you probably can't even imagine seeing yourself going through, from diseases to abandonment to rejection to all kinds of sickness, just things that you're like, oh, wow, that's me. I don't know why I would do. But they've gotten up, they've moved on, and they've done what they need to do. So the 14th, we're going to do that at 1 p.m. And for those who are local to the North Carolina area, on December 15th, we're going to feature Tomoji again and her business partner, Winnie. They're going to do a live and in-person event. That is going to be absolutely fabulous. It's going to be in Winston, and there's an investment of $20 in advance, $25 the day of the event, and it's going to be refreshing you and getting you prepared to go to the next level in 2014. There are things that we have to correct before we leave this year, and it is going to be absolutely powerful for you to be in that room. Just the fact that Timoji and Winnie together are empowering you Trust me and believe me, you do not want to miss that if you are looking to go to the next level of your own greatness. Now, the 21st, which is the following Saturday, you get to spend time with me. And we're going to talk about the things that we'll be launching in January 2014. We're going to talk about how I can best serve you. We're going to get some of your questions answered about what you need to do, where you need to go, and how you can build your foundation. Because I have been blessed with some knowledge and some expertise to help women to get where they need to go, and I am excited about doing that more in 2014. The 28th is going to be another Chic Sheepreneur panel, and it's featuring some experts who are going to be talking to you about branding, marketing, customer service, monetization, just different things that you need. This is going to be the last one that we're doing for 2000. And 13, so you definitely want to be connected to that. You definitely want to have your pad and pencil ready for all of these events because they're phenomenal. And I've made it so easy for you because I know that many of you are all across the country, all across the world, and I don't want to have 
the expense of travel or having to be there on a certain day, you can call in with your pajamas on and get what you need. So definitely love doing virtual events. Now, the one thing that I want to go back to as far as what I learned from the movie is actually it's two more things. One thing is surround yourself with successful others. You cannot be around chickens if you're an eagle. I know you've heard that before, but it's so true. I cannot be around people who are on the same level if I want to grow. If I want to stay stagnant, then I can be around those people all day. And it, sometimes you have to cleave and you have to leave because you can't be around someone who doesn't have what you're looking for if, if you want to grow. And I know it sounds harsh, especially for sheepreneurs sometimes, because we want everyone to like us and we want to like everyone. But that the real reality of it is that in order for you to grow, you have to be around somebody who's going to inspire you. And if you looked at the movie, all of those people were connected to people who were on their level but also on different levels. They were all successful. So when you surround yourself with people who are doing great things, then you can also do great things. The last point that I want to make right now in regards to the movie is to whom much is given, much is required. You are never too successful to give back. And I love the fact that they showed each and every one of them giving back when they went to serve at the church and serve the holiday meal. They gave back of their time and talent. Lance was an NFL star. Harper was a bestseller. But they were in there giving back. And I am committed to serving one organization per month in a way that I'm giving back because I definitely know that to whom much is given, much is required. I have lived by that. I have learned by that. And I am not going to give that up because it's so key and it's so powerful. So does anyone have any other questions? Because I have a special guest who I'm going to introduce you all to. But I want to make sure that all of our questions, comments, and thoughts are answered before I do that. So I'm going to open up the line to anyone who may have something to say at this time. Okay, you guys are quiet. <laughs> well, without any further ado, like I just said, to whom much is given, much is required. And the December initiative that I have is partnering with Alicia Diggs, who is phenomenal. You'll be hearing from her more this month, but I wanted to give her some time to tell you about her platform and her story because if you know this month is in recognition of AIDS, and she has, I'm just so proud of her because she has done something phenomenal. She has taken her test and turned into a testimony. Her I Will Live Foundation is going to be doing some phenomenal work. They are actually partnering with the Triad Health Project here in the Triad area where I live, and they're not only raising money, but they're walking the walk. You know, we could talk the talk all day long, but they are walking the walk. And without any further ado, Alicia, please, are you on the line? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm on the line. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please tell everyone what you're doing, who you are, and how they can assist. Thank you so much for this uh, moment. I do want to say um, thank you. Everyone was quiet when you opened up the floor for any questions or comments, but um, I do want to say that I take my hat off to you for being such a phenomenal um, sheepreneur and allowing us the time to spend with you so that we can get some information that's going to definitely bless us in the future. So thank you for that. Thank you. Um, You're very welcome. Um, As Stevie was saying, Triad Health Project does a winter walk for AIDS every year. This year, December 8th, Sunday, is going to be the 22nd year for the winter walk for AIDS. And I know it's going to be cold. Everybody saw the forecast, but we do this rain or shine. That's because our passion is to give back to the community of those who are infected and affected by HIV AIDS. A lot of people may sit back and say, well, no, this doesn't have anything to do with me. But there's at least one person that you know in either your immediate family, your circle of friends, or even people that you know. Um, 
whether it's someone that you know close or someone that you know distant is dealing with this illness. Um, it is something that's very serious, and it's it's close to my heart. I'm very, very passionate about it. Not only have I had family members who have dealt with the illness and even lost their fight, you know, through opportunist infections that caused them um, to not be able to fight any longer, but I was diagnosed 2013. 2001, um, December 13th, which will be 12 years for me. Um, I was diagnosed with HIV, which I contracted from my ex-husband, who I trusted and who I was in love with, who also was my high school sweetheart. I've known him since I was 14. I married him when I was 30 years old. He infected me, and through our conversations, through arguing, um, he let me know, look, I knew, and There's nothing you can do about it. Well, there was something I could do about it. I had two choices. I could have acted within my flesh and within I heard from what I heard from the enemy to kill him, get revenge, and make sure that he doesn't do this to anybody else, or listen to God. God told me, I got your back. You're going to be okay. You're healed. And I went forth and walked in my calling by being an educational speaker and an advocate for HIV AIDS. And not just for HIV AIDS, but as Stevie mentioned, my foundation, I Will Live. I Will Live was brought about through the Holy Spirit. God told me, I will live. You will live. And with that, formulated the foundation to let people know that despite anything that you go through, rather be depression, hardship, physical illness, mental, mental, emotional, you will live through that if you just continue to stand and surround yourself around people who are positive in a mental state that will take you to the next level, just like Stevie mentioned in the movie. It's been my pleasure, my honor to just be, you know, a part of something so great that's helping other people because it's not about me. It's about my community. It's about those that I love and care about. I am totally healthy. People, some people say, well, they look like, you know, they're sick. What does it look like? Because if you look at my pictures, I look fabulous. I look like I can stop eating a little bit for real, but I um, am very healthy. I'm very happy. And as I indicated on December 8th, Try Health Project and hundreds of others will be walking. Normally, we'll be walking from um, War Memorial Stadium, but this year we'll be on the campus of UNCG. We'll be leaving from the EUC, which is the Elliott University Center. You will not be able to miss it because there will be a lot of people out there. There will be signs. Um, there will also be a free and confidential testing for HIV and other STDs from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. At 1 o'clock, registration will begin. Registration is free. What we mean by registration is there are people who would like to donate. Anyone who donates $50 or more will be given a T-shirt. And just to give you you an example, there's people who have donated $100, That's 40 bus tickets for clients to get to and from their medical appointments. There's a lot of clients who are not going to get their medications who are not making appointments because they have no transportation. Triad Health Project tries their best to provide that for them. Um, Another example, $250 will also help to provide 200 cans of food for the pantry. Triad Health Project also has a food ministry for those clients. There's many of them who don't have access to food. So that's um, that's something right there. I Will Live has a goal of $250 to raise um, just for my foundation. And this is something I do every year. To be honest with you, last year I had a $200 goal in I made $600 for Triad Health Projects when a walk for AIDS. Um, it's not about monetary. It's really just about serving the community. That walk will actually start at 215. You can walk or you can do a, and that's once around the campus, or you can do a 5K fun run, and that's three times around the campus. At any rate, it's just, it just makes you feel good to give back to the community in some capacity. Not everyone has a monetary donation, but just giving your heart, 
supporting any kind of way. And one more thing I'd like to say before I close, that if if you feel like, okay, it's too cold, it's a little dangerous, I really don't want to go out there, you know, it's okay. You don't have to walk. You can click on the website link, which is on my page, Alicia Lovely Digs. It's also on Stevie's page. It's on Triad Health Project's page. But it's winterwalkforaids.kintera.org. And that's winterwalkforaids. And Kintera is K I N T E R A dot org. You can go there and you can give a monetary donation if, if your heart is led to do so. Also, you can drive up and anyone who's a representative of that walk will be able to take your donation if that's something that you wanted to do. But, again, I thank you for the opportunity to spread the word. I look forward to working with everyone to giving my support to anything that everyone does because it's about us linking together. It takes a whole village. So thank you all. Thank you, Alicia. And um, yes. we definitely, definitely want support. I will be making my donation today. And anyone else, like she said, feel free to make your donation. And it is we definitely want to support to whom much is given, much is required. Alicia will be joining us back um, on the 14th at 1 p.m. So want to make sure that you're spreading the word about that and you're tuning in because that panel is going to be absolutely amazing. It has been my pleasure to be here with you this morning. I want to make sure that you're connected to www.stevieaishamills.com. I have seen some people sign up for the newsletter already, so that is great. You definitely want to be on the mailing list, and I hope that you all have a phenomenal day. Thank you for all that you do and all that you are. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.